Hi everyone. A lot of the seafarers are finding employment on tugboats these days and they are leaving commercial vessels or offshore vessels and trying finding uh, employment on these type of vessels. So I thought I'll make a video uh, just for the knowledge of uh, the mariners who may be interested in finding employment on tugboats or may want to know a little bit more about them. And uh, this is a short video, but I'll make a series of a few videos uh, just to make you familiar uh, with tugboats, the different type of tugboats and the difference between tugboats and towboats and what are the uh, firefighting arrangements on tugboats and other topics related to tugboats. All right, so let's get started uh, with a tugboat. So a tugboat, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a boat that uh, helps in the maneuvering of vessels by either pushing them or pulling them or towing them. So when a vessel comes into a port and it's trying to berth or when a vessel is trying to unberth or leave a port and then the tugboats are often used. Most of the times the tugboats comes in both forward and aft uh, positions but uh, it may differ depending on of course the length of the vessel or how the vessel is berthed against the jetty. Sometimes you don't even need tugboats and you can come out of the jetty using the bow thrusters but most of the times you will see that for commercial vessels uh, tugboats are used. So tugs are used to move vessels that either uh, should not move themselves uh, such as uh, ships which are in a harbor in a very busy harbor with a lot of ships coming in or in a narrow channel or a narrow canal um, or those that cannot move by themselves such as barges, disabled ships, log rafts, oil platforms, so on and so forth. Uh, tugboats are very powerful for their size and strongly built and uh, some of them are even ocean going. Uh, some tugboats, they serve as icebreakers, salvage boats. Um, and then there's a difference between a tugboat and a towboat, if you don't know the difference. So both tugboats and towboats, they assist with the navigation of larger ships. But they are constructed uh, differently to provide maximum efficiency in various uh, um, situations and scenarios. And crew and work requirements also varies for each type of vessel. So when pushed by a boat, the barges are re referred to collectively as the tow. Hence the term tow boat is used. This term is potentially misleading since such boats actually push the cargo as opposed to literally towing it or pulling it from behind. So tows can also be pushed by a tugboat. And the difference between the two is that the tugboat has a pointed bow while a tow boat or a push boat has a square bow, which can then be placed against the tow or it can be faced up flush against the toe. And then I go into types of uh, tugboats and they can mainly be classified under three categories. That is seagoing tugboats, escort tugboats and harbor tugboats. So let's start with the seagoing tugboat. So all the tugs pull or tow a vessel with the help of the towing lines. And the main characteristics of all the tugs, including the seagoing tugs, is that they have a very low aft deck. So if you see on your screens in the picture, you can see the aft deck. You can see how low it is. It has a very less free boat. It is very close to the water line. And this is to ensure that the towing lines, which are attached to probably the aft part of the vessel, they have a high degree of freedom of movement. So they can uh, move about. Uh, the point at which the tow lines are attached to the tugboat, they are located normally at the center or the midships so that the forces have no influence on the maneuverability of the boat. All right, so once the boat starts to pull or push something, uh, then uh, the forces that are generated should not affect the maneuver maneuverability of the vessel, maneuverability of the towing boat. So the towing winches and the towing lines, they should be very strong and sturdy as they transfer the total force of the propeller to the lines for pulling a vessel. So the Standard seagoing tugboat with a model bow that tows its payload on a hawser. Uh, there are different types of tugboats and uh, seagoing tugboat. So you have the uh, standard seagoing tugboat with a model bow that tows its payload on a hawser. And then you have the notch tugboat which can be secured in a notch at the stern of a specially designed barge, effectively making the combination of a ship. Uh, this is what is showing the seagoing notch tugboat. So this configuration is dangerous to use with a barge which is in ballast or no cargo uh, or in a head or following seas. So then you have the integrated tug and barge which comprises specially designed vessels that lock together in such a rigid and strong method 
has to be certified as such by authorities. And then you have the articulated tug and barge units that also utilize mechanical means to connect to their barges. So there are different types of seagoing tugboats. Then we move on to escort tugboats and this type of tugboats are used to escort huge vessels along a narrow or dangerous passages. Uh, these facilities are provided only to massive ships whose own propulsion system is not capable of maneuvering in dangerous waters or narrow channels or narrow canals. Now this facility has been introduced as a result of a series of accidents in the past that has led to adverse effects on marine and human life. Escort tugboats, as you see on your screen, they are much smaller and sturdy vessels that generally operate in confined waters. They have very high maneuverability power and they often have high azimuthing thrusters. So bow thrusters are very high, strong, they are very powerful. Uh, so escort tugs are relatively recent developments in response to the risk of pollution caused by grounding of tankers. Therefore, an escort tug needs to have a hull and appendages able to generate indirect force with ample stability and freeboard. It should have a winch which carries the load on power, not on a brake, and which automatically reduces excess load. And they should have omnidirectional propulsion, so they can be moved about in any direction. And they should also have a tow point located for any kind of fail-safe operation, so that it can be let go quickly. If there is any problem with towing, uh, it, the towing line can be let go quickly. Then we have harbor tugboats. Uh, they are multiple utility boats that are used in ports and inland waterways. They are normally used for assisting and towing vessels in and out of the ports. And they are also used for pulling barges. Uh, barges are, if you don't know what barges are, barges are used for carrying goods in inland waterways or along the ports. If you have been to places like Hong Kong, in port of Hong Kong, most of the cargo operations are done through barges. Um, then harbor tugs also assist seagoing tugs when the seagoing tugs are pulling very heavy objects. And the harbor tugs have the highest maneuverability as they have to pull and tow huge ships within small areas. Like I was telling you before, most of the commercial ships when they are berthing, unberthing from the port, these are the harbor tugboats are the ones that come into play. Apart from that, harbor tugs are also used in firefighting and keeping ports free from ice in winter season. They have a capacity to generate a towing force at a zero velocity and they are also equipped with firefighting arrangements and equipment for fighting marine pollution. I'll take you through that in a separate video one day. All right. Uh, you must have seen in many ports uh, sometimes that these uh, tugboats and these tow boats, they are actually practicing fire drills and they're testing out their firefighting systems. So they have a good firefighting system because sometimes it can be used uh, for ships uh, or for the ports uh, in emergency. Then I'm coming towards the conventional tugboat, which are the oldest type of tugs. And uh, they are still present in almost all the world ports, uh, although they are pushed away more and more by newer tugs, more contemporary tugs with better maneuvering capabilities. Now, when I say conventional tugboats, I'm talking about tugboats which had steam propulsion. They started with steam propulsion, of course. Nowadays, they're, of course, equipped with diesel engines and they are having one or two propellers. Uh, with single propellers, depending on the type, the most common is the right-handed propeller. Uh, although these days left-handed are also quite often uh, seen and they are often equipped with classic uh, rudder. So the power plant, plant complex is placed at the stern with a towing hook in the middle of the tug and uh, deficiencies of the conventional tugs and why they are going a bit out of business is because they had very limited maneuvering capabilities and which are demonstrated in slow repositioning of tugs and uh, you know, uh, there, there was also a problem with the amidship position of the toe, which resulted in the possibility of the girting of the tug along the radius of the toe, and it could lead to capsizing of the tug, you know, leading to accidents and even deaths of the crew. So that is why conventional tugboats are slowly going out of fashion. Uh, finally, we come to azimuth stern drive tugboats. Now, azimuth stern drive tugboats, as you can see, the fundamental difference between the tugs with azimuth stern drive propulsion and conventional tugs uh, is that there's a propulsion unit placed in the turning nozzle as you can see on your screens the older types had single nozzle while the new ones have uh, two placed at the stern of the tugboat so this uh, significantly improves the maneuvering capabilities of the tug with azimuth propulsion now accordingly this type of tug could be used as a conventional tug with tow at the midships but with much better maneuvering capabilities than the conventional tug. 
However, the azimuth stern drive tugs also have certain deficiencies uh, which include uh, difficulty in moving sideways and they have an increased sinkage of stern during uh, their movement of stern and they are very sensitive to interaction with ships. They have a complicated driving mechanism and uh, while towing with central hook, it is sensitive to girting and side listing up to about 15 degrees which can sometimes uh, lead to a possible capsizing. However, of course, when we are talking about tugs, we should also talk about the advantages of the tug with azimuth stern drive propulsion. They have a much improved bollard pull per kilowatt of power. They have better maneuvering capabilities than conventional tug and they have a simple procedure of demounting and maintenance of nozzles. And finally, we are coming to, uh, so I have covered azimuth stern drive tugboats. I thought I'll just show you another picture of this. Um, I'll go into the last tugboat and that is the tractor type of tugboat. So the tractor tugboats, they, they represent a completely new and opposite concept of propulsion order and the turning axis pivot compared to the conventional tug. So the basic concept in a tractor tug is based on uh, two built-in multi-directional propulsion systems which work in the cycle of 360 degrees on the principle of two vertically built propulsion mechanisms with rotating wings placed below the tug bridge. So this type of propulsion system provides excellent maneuvering characteristics to the tractor tug and uh, the novelty is that the propulsion system is always in front of the tow and in this way the positive turning movement is always present. So deficiencies of tractor tugs include uh, sensitiveness to damages of underwater propulsion mechanism because the propulsion mechanism is in the forward part. Then they can go up to a side list of up to 21 degrees when they are towing with full speed. Uh, high capital investment is required to purchase these type of tugs. They have a much reduced bollard power pull and they have bad steering at open seas. And because uh, you know the pivot point is uh, for forward so it is uh, they don't get a good pivot point or a turning lever for any kind of uh, steering and they are expensive to maintain. However, the advantages of these type of trucks are that uh, they provide full power at turning 360 degrees. They have excellent maneuvering capabilities. Um, there is an instant application of full power and you can rely on the propulsion system and it's almost impossible for the girting to occur uh, and they have better response with interaction with the hull of the ship. So I have been talking about girting. If you don't know what girting is, I have made separate videos on girting. You can find it on the playlist of ship handling videos. Please go and watch those videos. Otherwise, I'll provide you with the links to those videos in the description section below. Uh, so uh, I, I hope that you liked this video. It was a bit knowledgeable for you guys. Uh, and let me know what you thought about this video. I'll put up more videos about tugboats because uh, this is the new kind of boats and um, where uh, seafarers are finding employment. So it's a good idea to have some knowledge about it in case you are going for any kind of job interviews. And that is my whole objective with this video. Uh, thank you and keep watching. I'll put more videos. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, uh, all the best with your studies, guys, and bye for now.